Hockey 605. We're visiting with Clay Wambach of Georgia Morris Middle School and the Oahe Capitals Pee Wee A team. You guys came all the way down here and had to had to play two games today, didn't you? Yeah. That first game was a great game, and you kind of just skated down the ice and scored goals one after the other. Yeah. Second game, the Sioux Falls team gave you a little more of a challenge, right? Yeah, it was a lot more of a challenge. Yeah, it was a great game. Um, they were up, you, you leveled, and then you pulled ahead of them, and then they leveled it up. Third quarter kind of did you in. Yeah, we kind of, we slowed down a little bit, but we played our hardest. Yeah, is that what you think? Maybe you slowed down the, second, the last period? a little bit. I think a few minutes, but we were playing as a team, and that's all that matters. Amen to that, Clay. You guys seem to keep working at it and play to the final, final bell, didn't you? Yeah. So how long have you been playing hockey? About, I've been skating for nine years. Skating for nine years. And how long have you played organized hockey? Uh, seven, seven, something like that. Wow. You must, have, you must have learned to skate before you learned to ride a bike. Yeah. Wow. So what's your favorite part about hockey? Playing with the team. You like having teammates around you? Mm-hmm. Well, they do make it a lot easier to score goals, right? Yeah, and their family. Yeah, you guys are, seem like a pretty tight family in hockey. So what position do you play, Clay? I play center and defense. Oh, two important positions. Which, which of those two do you prefer? Center. Why do you like center better? I'm, I get more action. Yeah, you, you can go up and, and get in the middle of it up there, right? Yeah. And do you get to do the face-offs? Yep. Are face-offs fun to do? Yes. <laughs> Why, um, when you guys are getting ready for face-offs, it seems like you're kind of hitting on the stick on the, the ice all the time. Why do you do that? To fight for the puck. So, and then moving your stick on the ice like that, that kind of reminds me of sweeping. Are you really good at sweeping your mom's kitchen floor? Mm. I guess you could say so, but I'd rather not. Well, I think that would be good practice for hockey. Yeah. <laughs> so t I'm trying to learn some hockey terms. What's a hockey term that you think I need to know? I learned deke earlier. Um, I've learned dangler. What's, a, what's another good hockey term? Offsides. You know, that one has been confusing the heck out of me. I saw some offsides called today, and I don't quite understand it. Can you explain it for me? It's when the... When the player crosses one of the blue lines before the puck does. Okay, so if you have the, the puck and one of your teammates crosses the blue line before you pass it to him, is he offside? Yes. Oh, so that's kind of a lot like offsides in other sports. Mm -hmm. And But there's two, two lines. Yeah, there's an offensive line and a defensive. And does it matter which line? Mm, no. Not really. Okay. Well, I think I think that's as much lesson as I can absorb in one day on offsides. Yeah. I know you guys are eager to to go back to the hotel and get a little rest, yeah. get a shower, and maybe get something to eat, right? Yep. Yeah, got a big game tomorrow. You got a big game tomorrow. We're looking forward to it. Clay, thanks for taking some time with us at Hockey 605. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.